Today I'm going to show you how to make your YouTube channel banner using Canva. Isn't that cool? When I wanted to make my YouTube channel banner, I was all over the place and it was really kind of a challenge, but I tell you what, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. Before we get there, what I did, I have a free ebook on how to discover the easiest and quickest ways to generate quality leads. And part of that is using YouTube. So grab that free ebook down below and then I am going to head to my computer so I can share with you how to make your YouTube channel banner using Canva. So this is how you can make your YouTube channel banner. Now this is my YouTube site. It is youtube.com Mark Nels forward slash Mark Nels one. There's too many Mark Nelsons and I have a branded channel and I, and I did it for a couple of reasons and I'll share with that later how to do a branded channel. But this is my channel art and it shows up narrow on top and I use Canva. So what I want to do is take you through Canva and how to make your channel banner. So I'm just going to go right over to Canva and this is my Canva and, and I have logged in already. I didn't want to click there, but I've logged in already. So in Canva's free, you just go to Canva and create an account and I just use a free account and it says create a design and as you go here, there's a lot of different things in here, but I'm going to create a design and it's says YouTube channel art. That's what I want. Uh, it also has the things for YouTube thumbnails and whatnot, but I just want the channel art. And what I did, I searched earlier, I'm going to go to my uploads, and I searched earlier for a YouTube channel art uh, banner template, and I have this. Um, so I'm going to put this in, and I'm just going to enlarge it to cover my screen. And if you can see this, I'm not going to leave this on here, but this is what it tells you. If you're on TV... These are the dimensions right here. If you're on a desktop, you see all you see is this area. Um, and this confused me for a while because I was trying to fill this whole thing up. But yet when it got on my desktop, it, I didn't, it didn't show things that I wanted to see. If you're on a tablet, it's this area. And if you're on a desktop minimum and mobile, it's this area. This is the safe area. So this is what you want to fill with what you want for your channel art. So I'm just going to show with you what I did and what you can do. The first thing I do is I'm going to go to Elements. And this was a free Elements. I grab Shapes. I use this one a lot. And so I'm just going to put this. And what, I, what the first thing I do is I make it that exact size of this middle and I'm going to go all the way out and I'll just show you how I mess with this now this is the color it is right now so if you want a specific color it's showing up here what you want you can just click on this and you can get different colors here that you want to use uh, I used a very light gray it doesn't show up here anymore or you can do an add and it's going to show you different colors you can put in here and you can change them as you go. You can click up here, you can click down the reds, you can click over here. Um, you can do a lot of different things of what you want. Um, now that's a blue if you want that. You, you know, whatever you want. I've always used blue because it's a soothing color, a trusting color. Now it's, if you notice, mine was really a light gray and I just did that for a reason. Um, but let's pick up. No, oh, what color do you want? I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> you can pick any color you want, but I also use, you You can go to uh, the Canva color wheel, and, and you can just kind of pick some colors here, and you can get inside. And what I'll do, this is the color right here, and then it shows a complementary color. So if you want to do that, you can get in here and go there. And in fact, I'm going to show you what you can do, and I'm going to pick this color. Let's pick that blue. Um, but it gives you the color code. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go back to my untitled design that says color up here. It says, well, what color do you want? Well, I just picked that code. 
and I want that color. Now, it doesn't matter if it's yours or not, but now here's what's going on. I'm going to click out of that, and then I'm just going to bring this down. Remember, this is my safe area right in there. So I'm going to leave that there. Now what I want to do is I want to put everything right in here. That's all I want. So I'm going to go to my uploads again, and I'm just going to scroll down and find an image of myself that I use a lot because I brand me. And then I'm, I got to make it smaller because I want to get it inside here. So I'm going to put this back up. And then I'm going to put this here, and I want it right in the center. And you can make that bigger or smaller, because remember, it's only going to be... Now, this is a, a PNG, uh, what I did, and I'll show you this. I took an image of myself. I want that a little bigger. Um, And I want it in the middle, per se. So I'll leave it there. What I did, I, I took an image of myself. I went to a website called remove.bg. <coughs> Excuse me. This remove.bg, you can just upload an image. It's free. <coughs> and what it'll do is it doesn't matter what image you do when you upload your image. And I'm just going to grab one from somewhere, and it's got to be a person. So we'll see if I can find one of myself quick or something fast. Uh, I don't know if it'll do two or not. I'll, let me grab this one and see what happens. This is my wife and myself a long time ago. It's going to load it up, and there it is. That is my wife and I. Um, it's And I'm just going to download it. And what it did, it took all that background off it. So, and it's a PNG file, so when I pull it up, there it is. That's what show, all my background's gone. Um, now, I'm not going to keep that anywhere, but that's where it is. So, we've done that. <clears throat> this is the image I want. And um, I'm going to show you how this works. It's, uh, I do want that up there, though. I don't know why I got that off. I want that to center in there. So, and you can see this line coming down, it centers it. And now, re remember how this showed up? It's, I have, I can put in words from here, approximately here, to over there. So, you can put a logo, or you can just write a text, and the, your text lets you change in your text signs up here, and I'm just going to write Mark Nelson. I think I spelled that wrong, but I'm going to move it over. And I did spell my name wrong. That's funny. Um, so I'll select that and retype it. Whoops. It's not let me. And up here is you can change your font. So I want my name big. I'll put it at 64. And I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to keep it in the middle. And here's its desktop thing. So if I look, it's still inside that. Okay, now what you want over on the other side, and what I did, if you see what I did over here, is I just put discover how to change your world, uh, learn how to qualify leads. You can see I, I brought this down a little bit. Uh, I, I didn't want all of that in there. And that's all that matters, how you do yours. And you can play around with this. So back on the other side, what I'm going to do, and this is my channel art, is I'm going to add another thing. I'm just going to say, uh, learn how to generate leads. It, it could be learn how to lose 10 pounds, whatever you do. Now, sometimes I have to get off this because I want to move it. Now, if you can see, I'm going to, and I spelled learn wrong. I used to be a really good typer. And if I take this down, again, I'm just going to take it down. I'm out of my, that is going to be out of the area, and I'm actually going to change this if I can get. I'm going to change that color so it's, uh, I'm going to change my font color to white so you can see it. If you can see it, it's it's out of the area. So I can do two things. 
it's I can go back up here and I can bring this back to the other one, move it over. I just put another line here. I want to change my font and it shows up. You get to play with this. And it only did the first one, so I gotta change it all. Well, come on here. And that's 24 font. I want it a little bigger, but I'm gonna leave it there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna change it to 42 font. And it only did the top line, so now I gotta go back and get the top one and change it to 42 and see if that works. And you can do whatever you want in here. Okay, so when you're done, if this is what you want, here's what I did is I clicked on this back thing and I deleted it. And right now that's my header. So I took that template out, I deleted it. All I'm gonna do is download and it's gonna say, what do you want? And I did a, a PH, a PNG. You can get transparent, but that's a paid service. I only use it free. And I just download it. That's all it is. And when it goes download, it's going to go down your website. I spelled it wrong. That's funny. Um, so when you want to change it, you go back here to your site. And I'm not signed in, but you can change your channel art just by going in and changing your channel art. And that's all there is to it. Easy, smeezy. So I hope that helps. Uh, very easy to do. Play around with it. I'd probably mess with this. You know, I had to change. That's my image, but you can see that I changed this. So I took that out. I actually believe what I did was a screenshot. So I just got my face in there. This was my logo. I went with Mark Nelson and I put three things on here. Now, because I have a branded account, I can put a website in. That's my, that is my, um, home website, my blog area. I can link to Facebook. I can link to Instagram. I link to Twitter and I link to LinkedIn, but that will be in a whole nother training. I will pull that training, this template that you saw. Um, I just Google it. Uh, YouTube channel art template and found it. Um, I'll try to put a link down below, but what I do have down below for you is a free ebook on how you discover the quickest and easiest ways to generate quality leads. And that's what you all want to do. So I hope that helps. Enjoy. Play around with Canva. It's a fun tool. And uh, tell me what you think about this. Give me your comments below and tell me what you think. Was this have any value for you? Does it, you get any energy from it? Could you think you can create your own banner? Y'all take care. Wasn't that easy? Man, I hope you got great value out of this video. If you did, will you please like the video? Give me a comment. Tell me what you like best. And if you do make a banner, put the banner in the comments below too. But subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell so you get notified because I do videos at least twice a week. Grab my free ebook below. Discover how you can easily and quickly generate quality leads. That's all there is. Like my channel, make a comment. I'd love it. Tell me what you like best. You all take care. Bye.